Laura Harvey is very rarely bashful. And at Rio Tinto Stadium tonight, she's well aware of the need to protect the Utah Royals FC home. The playoff race intensifying in this evening in the National Women's Soccer League. Very good. Drops in that pocket just under Rodriguez up top. And you can see here, turns, gets a touch, knows exactly what she's doing. She gets it out of body. Lovely little driven effort there. Great turn, you see, pushes it out, just tries to use that body shape and bend it into that far corner. Keeper makes a great save. This is a wonderful angle, just catches it clean and the keeper makes an outstanding save. Eubanks started this, it'll find Hatch. Hatch arriving, laying this all the way across. The intended target was Pew. If you're Jim Gabarra, you have to like what you've seen so far from Washington Spirit. You just see him there, he's talking about the lines, the mid... The mid this is struck from distance, and Bledsoe parries it downward and able to collect. How about Stangle from that pocket? Quite well. He's just talking about his back three because it's dropped off. You can see the space. That's how Stangle's getting on the game so much because the back three have dropped off. Press is attacking in on Houston. It cuts around her press. Popped up. There's still danger. Header down is wide. Christian Press, just see here, just brilliant. Drives inside, knows exactly where she's going on the outside, hits it with her right foot. And then you see Tim Rack sneaking in, just getting a little header, trying to go bottom corner. But there you see Press just drives inside, pushes it outside, a great effort. And Tim Rack following it in. That's what you want from your wing, from your winger on the opposite side. Additional maneuverability, couple positions. Attack reaching the byline, service across Tim Rack. And that bopped away right before she was able to stick her forehead to it. Sullivan. Sullivan crossing. Close. Farkasen can't quite reach out to that. Didn't get over that first line. Stangle. Stangle has tested Bledsoe a couple times on the night. Plays it for Rodriguez. Bounces back to her. Rodriguez recollects. Rodriguez searching, shooting wide with the curler. Played long, Quinn ahead her. Lytle, press, press at her feet. She puts it in and it's caught. There was a change for Utah at that stoppage and there it is, Matheson allowing it through. Stangle, no! Uh -huh. Stangle scores again for Utah, our fifth of the season. He's been in that little pocket, as we've said, all game, and the second half, she's just come alive. Great dummy there from the substitute, and again, Stangle gets one touch out of her foot, just knows exactly what she's doing. Great finish, bottom corner. Great little dummy there from the sub that just came on, but there, Katie Stangle getting her fifth goal of the season. What a finish, brilliant in that hole. Just her seventh game. This comes to Labanta. Labanta wants it all! And it's poked over the crossbar by Bledsoe. And I think that's, you know, I think that's great for all the young players out there that driven ball just gets wide. Comes in, free header. She'll be disappointed with herself there. Eubanks, now Smith, what deflects a aside. Hatch be coming in there. Yeah, Smith, great ball in behind. Gets it back again here with this ball and steps in and see Utah center back comes flying across, gets a great block. That's it, full time. Another win for Utah. Another late winner for Katie Stangle. And Royals FC are just outside the playoffs with four to go.